Hi, Lace from Retired and Living the Dream. Welcome to my channel and welcome to a new year 2024. Is this the year that you're going to change your life and going to change everything and do something about it? Because let's face it, 2023 wasn't the best year for everybody, was it? So time to wash the car because it's a dusty car today as we've just come back off our holiday. And um, so here we go. And it's just a, a general chat about various things and outlook of life and things like that. And is 2024 the time to make a change? Now we, we've just come back off a holiday to Kokod. We went there for originally nine nights, but we liked it so much we extended the stay to 11 nights. Now we're going to talk about safety in Thailand. Is Thailand safe to come to and things like that? And various other topics that we're just going to talk about really. And I'm going to do some co-cut videos with the hotels that we stayed in. We actually stayed in um, six hotels over 11 nights. I would say, yeah, 11, because we went originally for nine and we extended for two. And I'm going to show you the reason why we stayed the extra two nights, because it was absolutely stunningly beautiful. Now, Kokod is the fourth largest island in Thailand, but it's a, there's a lot of the island that is there's nothing on it just a lot of jungle and trees and things like that and I've probably seen more potential divorces than ever on Kokod. Now this video I'm going the videos I'm going to do with Kokod are going to do with the hotel reviews and things like that and by watching these videos potentially if you want to go to Kokod it is a stunningly beautiful uh, location without a doubt but you need to do your research and on my videos I can actually save you thousands of baht because I've been there, seen it, done it and I can tell you what to look out for and what not look out for and where to go and not where to go because, because it's quite a big island and there's a lot of nothingness in between some beautiful places in, in, in uh, Kokod but it, it can cost you a lot of money also now going, we'll start off with safety. The roads in Thailand are well known for accidents and things like that and the, the death rate in Thailand is quite high. Now the figures have just been released with regard to Thailand road safety campaign figures um, every year. They the, the call this the seven days of madness with New Year because there's more road deaths and things like that in Thailand during the seven days of madness, that's the seven days holiday that they have for like New Year here. And this year there was 256 deaths on the road and over 2,000 accidents in the whole of Thailand. So that just gives you some indication as to, um, you know, how bad it can be over here. And I'm going to explain the reasons why you should take extra care when you come over here to Thailand because I've seen it with my own eyes I've just seen accidents just getting ready to happen and um, Khor Khod this is what I'm going to say with research you've got to know where you're going to stay in Khor Khod and the, the area now if you look at all the hotels on booking.com and Agoda and things like that you know they write some beautiful remarks about it and the promise and everything of this resort and invariably it's correct but with Khor Khod you know there's very 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 few places that you can walk out of your hotel room and there's lots of things to do and lots of activities to do so I've seen so many people walk around roads in the dead of night with no torches no nothing because the street lightning in Thailand, or Khor Khod, is sort of non-existent. So, if you're having a holiday with your kids, wife and kids, and you happen to walk from, say, one resort or one eating restaurant to back to your resort or whatever, because you've decided to have a look around, it can be very dangerous. And this is where I can laugh about it, because I've seen so many glum and miserable faces because the walking distance we, we hide a motorbike for a few days and we've seen these people walking and we know where the next location was and it might be 
two or three kilometres. Now when you've got two kids who don't want to walk and it's boiling hot, you know, that helps to make the holiday not a good holiday. Or if you're there with your, with your partner or your girlfriend, wife or whatever, you can see why you brought me to a wonderful tropical island but I have to walk everywhere because, you know, you can't get around fairly cheaply because if you don't do scooters really, then it, it can be quite expensive. You can hire a taxi for the day in Corkwood for 2,000 baht a day, which is, I think is quite reasonable because some friends of ours who weren't very happy on the motorbikes, they hired a, between four of them, this taxi all day for 2,000 baht and he drove them all over the island and uh, it was good because we followed, followed them on the motorbike because we stayed as a group and as we'd already paid for the motorbike we didn't want to go shares with them with a the, with the taxi because otherwise we, we end up paying twice and we don't mind the motorbike so I th would say 2,000 baht and if there's a group of four or six of you, obviously you share, share the cost and it's, it's you know, quite affordable really, isn't it? And it's safe and you know you're not going to have any accidents. The accidents waiting to happen that we've seen, there were two girls, teenagers, early 20s maybe, it's obvious that they'd never ever been on a motorbike or a scooter before. And there was this, this lad that they'd met at the resort or at the hotel where we were staying showing them how to start the motorbike up how to ride it how to stop it and the lights and things like that so what a place to learn to ride a motorbike or a scooter in Thailand it's not the place to do it so do not do it if you want to ride a scooter learn before you come here because your insurance if you have an accident and I've got to say, I was 99% certain that he, these two girls were going to have an accident. They were just so nervous at being on the motorbike. And just had no idea that they were like, oh, before they even got out of the car park. And uh, even my wife was like, oh, you know, they're going to have an accident. And let's face it, you don't want to enjoy your holidays in the hospital of Thailand and also the big thing is insurance if you have your travel insurance and you ride the motorbike and you have an accident and you don't have a license well is your insurance going to pay no they're not you're going to be stuck in hospital with your family and friends having to support you whilst you're going through your medical treatment because your insurance isn't going to pay because you haven't got a license and these two girls in my mind were just looking for an accident because oh, it was apart from going out there and saying listen girls don't do it you know they, they just did it and uh we, we you know we moved hotels so we couldn't ask the owner or the the renters of the motorbike because they don't check to see whether you've got a license or not they just they know that if you have an accident you're on the island you can't get off the island without you know going on the ferries and they'll find out whether you've crashed the motorbike or whatever so and wearing helmets wearing helmets i always wear a helmet always 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 it's actually thai law that you have to wear helmets here in Thailand for so many people driving around without helmets and uh, how to spoil a good holiday is have an accident and bang your head and the roads on Koh Kud are pretty good really and they're not busy so that maybe puts people into a false perspective that oh it's okay here but there's some steep hills in Koh Kud and there's lots of potholes in the roads and there's lots of grooves we call it tram lining, that if you will get stuck in the tram lines where two pieces of concrete join each other and the tar that goes in between it is worn away or whatever. So it's easy for your motorbike wheel to go in the tram line and you know so therefore unstabilizes the bike that you're on. 
So these are the things that you've got to take into account, of, you know, when you're coming here to Thailand. But Kokud, I met a couple of people in Kokud, don't want to go back home. Just want to stay in Kokud for the rest of their lives because it's so beautiful. And it is beautiful. And um, so that, that's the safety okay. side of it with regard to coming here into Thailand. Now there's other things, visas and, and stuff like that. Uh, and safety, general safety in Thailand. Is Thailand a safe place to come to? Well, if you watch the news over the past, well, month, Christmas and New Year, you'd think Thailand isn't a safe place to come. There have been boat accidents and uh, sadly a five-year-old Russian girl died uh, in a boat accident and it was found that the, the captain of the boat was on drugs and uh, so therefore Thailand did a, a purge on um, the boats and the captains and that and they found quite a few of the captains of the boats have been taking drugs or have got, have got visible signs or you know symptoms that they've been on drugs or whatever minivans there's been a couple of minivan crashes where people have sadly died also in minivan crashes my advice to you is to avoid the minivans like the plague for me the minivan drivers are like ex formula one drivers who think they have to get from A to B as quickly as they can and uh, you're packed in these vans like sardines anyway so if you have an accident you are the airbag so anyway enough on that look for i look forward to doing my videos on cocod there's going to be a few of them I've, we've just got back yesterday so it'll take me a few days to edit them but i'm going to do hot, uh, hotel reviews and there's a couple of couple of surprises in, in there as well and um i'm going to show you the resort that we stayed an extra two nights for because it, it's beautiful and we've already booked to go back there and we can't wait to go back there so watch the videos if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you don't like it give it a thumbs down and uh, until the next video bye for now